In this era of high technology, the progress and upgrading of national defense and military technology are particularly rapid. As an important part of ship defense, the performance of close-in weapon systems directly affects the survival capability of warships. China's 1130 close-in weapon system has won the reputation of being the best in the world with its outstanding performance. Dear audience, welcome back to our channel. Today, let's delve into the secrets behind this. China Central Television, CCTV, has revealed for the first time the development process of its own 1130 close-in weapon system. In this process, Chinese experts confidently claim to the world that the close-in weapon system equipped by the People's Liberation Army of China leads the world. The public display of the 1130 close-in weapon system by CCTV indicates that China has achieved more advanced results in this field. The reason why China can be so confident and claim its close-in weapon technology as the best in the world is that the 1130 close-in weapon system has set world records in four key indicators, it is the world's earliest close-in weapon system to achieve the capability of firing 10,000 rounds of bullets, it has the fastest firing rate in the world. It adopts a unique bi-directional and dual-route automatic ammunition feeding technology, which is a revolutionary design, and most notably, the close-in weapon system can counter supersonic anti-ship missiles with a speed of up to Mach 4 with a remarkable interception rate exceeding 96%, which is also a leading achievement in the world. These technological achievements make China's leading position in the field of close-in weapon systems indisputable. Close-in weapon systems, as important naval defense weapon systems, play a crucial role in the self-protection of aircraft carriers and various types of warships. In the complex and ever-changing threat environment of modern naval warfare, various advanced anti-ship missiles and aircraft pose serious challenges. Therefore, an effective close-range defense system is crucial for the survival capability of fleets. Take the Lianning aircraft carrier of the Chinese Navy as an example. This aircraft carrier is equipped with a multi-layer defense system to ensure its safety in potential threats. The first line of defense is the Sea Red Flag the 16 medium-range air defense missile, which is a missile system capable of intercepting and destroying airborne targets at a certain distance. Its function is like that of a warrior with a long spear, capable of long-range attacks against enemies. Next is the FL-3000N short-range air defense missile, which is similar to a short knife and is specifically used for closer range defense, effectively dealing with airborne targets approaching the aircraft carrier. And to protect the ship from underwater threats, the RBU-1200 anti-submarine rocket guards the lower part ensuring that the aircraft carrier is not subjected to submarine or underwater torpedo attacks. Finally, as an important supplement to these defensive layers, the 1730 close-in weapon system acts as the dagger, serving as the aircraft carrier's last line of defense. The design purpose of the close-in weapon system is to deal with anti-ship missiles that have penetrated the outer defense and are approaching the aircraft carrier at extremely low flight altitudes, as well as low-flying enemy aircraft. The working principle of the close-in weapon system is as follows, once incoming missiles or other targets approach the aircraft carrier to a dangerous distance, usually less than 10 kilometers, the close-in weapon system will quickly start up. Its equipped radar will accurately track and lock onto the target, and then, the close-in weapon system will fire a large number of bullets at an extremely high rate to form a dense barrage thus destroying or deflecting those enemy missiles or aircraft trying to break through the defense. This efficient close-range defense method not only requires extremely fast response time but also needs to have the capability of all-weather combat. Whether in adverse weather conditions or in modern battlefield environments such as electronic interference, the close-in weapon system needs to operate reliably to provide the final security guarantee for aircraft carriers and their battle groups. China's close-in weapon system plays a crucial role in modern naval warfare and its development and performance are highly anticipated. The HAPJ 1111 barrel 30mm naval gun is an advanced rotating gun independently developed by Chinese military technology personnel. This ship-borne close-in weapon system is equipped on various types of warships to intercept incoming anti-ship missiles, aircraft, and small surface targets. 
This close-in weapon system adopts an automatic turret base, enhancing its adaptability to maritime environments and combat flexibility. It integrates an active phased array radar, which has excellent detection capabilities and can operate stably in complex electronic interference environments, guiding shells to accurately strike targets. In addition, it is equipped with optical and infrared tracking systems, which provide day and night all-weather aiming and tracking functions, greatly improving the system's combat efficiency. The firepower channel of the H and PJ-11 is very powerful, capable of simultaneously locking onto more than 40 targets, which is particularly important in dense battlefield environments because it can effectively deal with threats from multiple directions. Compared with traditional close-in weapon designs, the H and PJ-11 has more barrels, reaching 11 barrels, while close-in weapons from other countries usually have fewer barrels, such as Germany's Midas with four barrels, the United States Phalanx with six barrels, the Netherlands Goalkeeper, and France's Samos both with seven barrels, giving the H a PJ-11 a significant advantage in firing rate. A notable feature is that the H a PJ-11 can fire more than 11,000 rounds of 30mm high explosive shells per minute, making it one of the fastest firing close-in weapons in the world. Its powerful firing rate can instantly create a 5.5-meter wide, high-density barrage barrier, providing nearly seamless protection against incoming missiles and other threats. Such firepower density poses a significant challenge to any missile attempting to penetrate this defense line. The 1130 close-in weapon system performs excellently in resisting anti-ship missiles, with an interception range roughly around 2 km and up to 4 km under extreme conditions. Faced with supersonic anti-ship missiles with speeds of up to Mach 4, this type of close-in weapon system demonstrates an astonishing interception efficiency of 96%. It has rapid response capability, with a launch time of only 0.1 second per interception action, ensuring the destruction of incoming anti-ship missiles in just two seconds. The so-called bidirectional and dual-route ammunition feeding technology refers to the fact that this close-in weapon system has two independent ammunition supply routes. Taking the HPJ-45 naval gun as an example, this design enables it to have two ammunition loading ports, each corresponding to its own supply path. This dual-route ammunition supply system enables the 1130 close-in weapon system to quickly switch between different types of alternative ammunition, greatly enhancing its adaptability and response speed in a changing battlefield environment. Unlike traditional short-range anti-missile weapons that usually adopt a single direct or indirect hit destruction mechanism, the 1130 close-in weapon system achieves a composite destruction mechanism through the application of bidirectional and dual-route ammunition feeding technology. This technology combines two destruction mechanisms of direct and indirect hits, using an indirect hit method to cause damage within a range of 400 to 1500 meters, while using a direct hit method within a range of 1500 to 500 meters. This strategy effectively utilizes the advantages of the two methods and complements their shortcomings, thereby increasing the effective attack range and combat duration. These ammunition combine the functions of armor-piercing shells and high-explosive shells, aiming to destroy targets at long distances. Even if the target is not completely destroyed, the projectile, due to its residual kinetic energy, will still cause significant damage to the warship. Modern anti-ship missiles and military aircraft usually have protective measures, such as the Su-24 ground attack aircraft, which is equipped with over 10 mm thick titanium alloy bulletproof steel plates. Only when using tungsten core armor-piercing shells with over 30 mm penetration capability can a decisive blow be achieved. The structure of the dual-route ammunition supply system is much more complex than that of the single-route ammunition supply system, requiring the design of multiple ammunition supply, shell ejection, and chain ejection channels, and the reliability requirements are often as strict as those of the single-route ammunition supply system, sometimes even higher. This greatly increases the design and manufacturing difficulty of the close-in weapon system's dual-route ammunition supply system. Based on this highly automated and precise weapon control system, the 1130 close-in weapon system has demonstrated outstanding performance in actual combat. 
Its advanced gallium nitride active phased array radar not only can quickly identify and track targets, but also can maintain efficient operation in high-pressure environments. With multi-target tracking capabilities, it can handle multiple threats simultaneously without being interfered with in complex battlefield environments. Furthermore, the 1130 Close-In Weapon Systems Computer System can intelligently analyze target threat levels and attack possibilities, thereby determining strike priorities to ensure the elimination of the most threatening targets first. This intelligent fire control system greatly improves response speed, reduces reliance on manual operation, and reduces personnel burden on the battlefield. Moreover, the firing of the 1130 close-in weapon system is not blindly covering a large area, but selectively attacking after precise calculation. It determines the most suitable trajectory and timing through high-speed calculations, ensuring that each shell hits the target with the highest efficiency. Even if the target is not hit in the first shot, the system will quickly adjust the firing parameters based on feedback, preparing for the next shot until the target is successfully destroyed. At the same time, the 1130 close-in weapon system also has a good self-protection mechanism. It can monitor battlefield changes that may pose threats to itself in real time, such as enemy countermeasures and other flying objects, and take corresponding evasive or defensive actions. This design ensures that the close-in weapon system can effectively survive even when detected and counterattacked by the enemy, continuing to perform defensive tasks. In summary, the design concept of the 1130 close-in weapon system is to use the most advanced technology to achieve rapid, accurate, and continuous target identification, tracking, and striking, greatly enhancing the protection level of individual soldiers and important facilities. This highly integrated defense system will undoubtedly change the tactical layout on the modern battlefield, enabling the defending side to respond more calmly to high-density firepower threats, effectively improving battlefield survivability and operational effectiveness. Finally, let me summarize today's video. I hope it has inspired and provided some value to you. As a senior military blogger, I am deeply impressed by China's technological achievements in close-in weapon systems. China's 1130 close-in weapon system has set world records in four key indicators, and its superior performance is indeed remarkable. However, this also raises some concerns for me. First, the superior performance of China's close-in weapon systems may trigger an arms race. Other countries may feel pressure to enhance their own military technology, thereby exacerbating regional tensions. Secondly, although close-in weapon systems play a crucial role in naval warfare, their development has also raised concerns about arms races. The complexity of the modern naval warfare environment means that countries will continuously seek more advanced defense and offensive technologies, which may lead to more weapon development and military expansion, exacerbating regional tensions and potentially leading to military conflicts. Lastly, the automation and intelligence of close-in weapon systems bring new strategic challenges. While these technologies can improve system efficiency and response speed, they may also lead to unexpected incidents, especially in highly automated systems, where misjudgments or operational errors may have serious consequences. Therefore, while China's close-in weapon system's technological achievements are impressive, we must also recognize the potential risks and challenges. As a global society, we need to closely monitor the development of arms races and take appropriate measures to mitigate tensions and maintain regional peace and stability. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Today's video ends here. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.